up until now, Intel's future for their desktops was pretty uneventful. I mean, we're still waiting for the 10th generation desktop chips, which aren't super impressive and are all based on 2015 tech. And we heard that the 11th gen, aka Rocket Lake, would be borrowing aspects of the 10 nanometer Tiger Lake architecture, but would still be on 14 nanometers. Heck, we even heard that Rocket Lake would have a max of eight cores, despite some roadmaps like this one, pointing at this architecture having 10 cores for that generation. But today, a new leaked slide popped up which completely changes Intel's timeline. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. All right, as usual with stuff like this, a big grain of salt is advised, but let's talk about it. So this is the slide. It was shared on a Chinese social network and it lists five new products that Intel will release or at least announce this year. For some of them, it was kind of a given. I mean, Intel has been saying that their first GPUs would be released in 2020, so the DG1 is not news. Then we have the Intel Xeon. We heard that about a month ago, Intel axed part of Cooper Lake to give more space to Ice Lake in that market. Once again, not news, but it looks like maybe they're gaining ground on their 10 nanometer process, so they aren't relying on 14 nanometers as much as they used to. Then there's Snowridge, which launched earlier this year and is part of their low power devices powered by Atom CPUs with Tremont cores. And now to the new, frankly, really confusing part of this slide, Alder Lake CPUs for desktops in 2020. Alder Lake, so far, was expected to come out in 2021 as the 12th generation. It would apparently be a 10 nanometer CPU with big dot little technology, which mixes big regular CPU cores with smaller lower power cores, similar to what is shown here with Intel's Lakefield, except Lakefield uses Fovoros too. Personally, I don't think that this will happen. I think that this low res slide is a fake, but what if it wasn't? You see where the problem is, right? How would this affect Rocket Lake for desktops? Are we even going to get Rocket Lake S? I mean, we know Intel isn't afraid of cutting out part of their lineup before launch. They just did so with the, the Xeons. And we know they're not afraid to launch two different architectures in the same segment. We saw them do that with Ice Lake and Comet Lake in laptops. And we also know that they can make sockets for both since what is left of Cooper Lake and the upcoming Ice Lake Xeons will share the same socket. Cooper Lake being 14 nanometers and Ice Lake being 10. So what is their game plan if this slide is to be believed? Well, with everything we know, we might see a combination of all of those things. A chipset slash socket usable for both 10 nanometer Alder Lake and 14 nanometer Comet Lake or Rocket Lake, whichever is supposed to come out in late 2020, and a smaller lineup for at least one of those CPU lineups. Now, the only thing that tells me this might be a lie, uh, despite the fact that it's just a slide that came out of a Chinese forum, it's because Alder Lake with its particular type and mix of cores is apparently supposed to be on a different form factor of chips. Instead of the usual squares, we heard that it would be more of a rectangular shape. And this slide shows a square CPU, so yeah. In my opinion, AMD has nothing to worry about. But if Intel does go through with this, it shows that they are willing to make big moves to be competitive compared to AMD, which was pretty stagnant after they lost the battle a few years back. Once again, salt is definitely advised for this piece of news. Moving on to some gaming news, we got a few things. First, the free game check. Right now, you can get Close to the Sun, a horror first-person adventure game that looks pretty good and it's free on the Epic Store. You can also get Crime and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes, basically a detective simulator. Those are the games for this week, and next week, you can get Just Cause 4. This game is usually 40 bucks, and it's only about a year and some months old. Getting it for free is a steal, and you can get hours of fun with the physics. I know I did on Just Cause 3. You can also check out Ubisoft's free games on their website. Also in gaming news, Amazon's new MMO, New World, which was supposed to come out next month, has been delayed to August 25th due to the coronavirus. I just hope other big games won't be delayed or the rest of the year won't have as many AAA titles in stores. 
Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Uh, thank, thanks to all the, the wishes about my rib. It still hurts. Um, I'm going to go to the doctors as soon as I feel it's safe because I think it's cracked. As usual, drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. You can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. See, I'm not, I can't really rotate because the rib thing, so I just use the chair.